Today on Dad Hut, we're taking a look at the Backbone controller for your iPhone and all your mobile gaming needs. Is it worth the $100 price tag? Let's find out. What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't already, please subscribe to Dad Hut for all future videos so you don't miss out on any of this stuff. Today we are looking at the Backbone controller for your iPhone and mobile gaming. Can this be a Nintendo Switch for your phone? Let's find out. So talking about the Nintendo Switch, you can see they look a little similar when you connect your phone to the Backbone. So. Uh, you know, is this gonna be basically a Nintendo Switch for your phone so you can play PlayStation app on there, you can play Xbox, you can play all your iPhone games, um, you can play Stadia through, through its app, you can play Steam through its app. This controller will work with all of those, so that's great. So let's talk about the build quality of this thing, and you can tell from the packaging that this is a high quality, well-made uh, product. Uh, a lot of thought went into the packaging. You can tell it's very well designed. The uh, feel of the controller is very, very solid. It's very durable. Um, and the actual button pushes and the presses and the L1s, R1s, it all feels very, very similar to the Joy-Cons on, on a Nintendo Switch, minus the, uh, you know, the Joy-Con drift, thank God. Um, but it, you can tell it's almost like they try to take a Nintendo Switch uh, Joy-Con and just kind of um, recreate it to work with your mobile phone. Um, and they did a really good job at that. I mean, this really, really does come close to uh, the feel and overall look of a Nintendo Switch. Um, portable on the go, easily easy to connect to your phone, and uh, yeah, so uh, they, they pretty much knocked that, that part out of the park. So the Backbone will only work with iPhone at this time. They only make an iPhone version. Um, that is one of the drawbacks. If you do not have an iPhone, um, then you cannot use this product. And uh, I know there's a lot of Android users out there that would you know, be looking forward to something like this. But uh, as of now, as of making this video, you can only get it for the iPhone. And the Backbone controller is for the iPhone specifically, um, not just Apple. It is for iPhone specifically. I have an iPad mini and I tried to hook it up and it cannot fit. I really wish it stretched one or two more inches. That's what she said. <laughs> it would at least give you the option if you wanted to use a bigger screen to hook up your iPad mini um, to, you know, game on. But, you know, the iPhone screen is big enough, especially if you have one of the new ones, you know, like an iPhone 12 Max or something like that. You know, on this video here, I'm specifically using my iPhone 8. So, yeah, I know I'm a few years behind. but. It does work, everything looks really, really good on it, so um, no problems there. The Backbone app itself is really well done. It's almost like, you know, something that, you know, the, one of these cell phone companies would make themselves. I mean, it's really, really nice. Um, it has all your games in there. You can play all your games through the app. You do not actually have to open each individual game, so that's really nice. It has like a friends list. Um, there's a whole social part to the Backbone app. Now granted, I believe that you need to have other friends that have the Backbone to you know, interact with them on the social part of the app, but um, it is there um, if you can use it. They really just make it very easy to get in and out of all your games, switch quickly on your phone through the apps. Um, and like I said, it's not just for um, mobile gaming as far as mobile apps. Uh, go you can play through stadia on there so if you ha uh, have stadia you can play stadia on your phone with this controller um playstation i've used it with my playstation 5 through the remote app and it works really really good and especially right now because the ps5 controller cannot even work with your iphone because the iphone can't ca uh, detect it as of this video it you cannot play remote play with your PS5 controller through uh, PS5's remote app. So using the Backbone uh, is a great solution. It turns your PS5 into a Nintendo Switch. It is, it, it does a really, really good job at that. Um, but you cannot physically connect this to like a Nintendo Switch or your PlayStation. It is only for your phone. Um, and again, it's only for iPhone. So 
half of the population, you know, with Androids can't even use this. So it's a very specific use. Um, I think it is the best controller on the market for mobile gaming, specifically with iPhone. Um, but it does come at a very hefty price of $99. I would love to see that price come down because there are a lot of competitors out there. There's a lot of competition for, you know, controllers like this that work with, um, a bunch of other things work with iPhone, Android, work with PC, work with, uh, switch, work with PlayStation, work with Xbox and can connect to multiple things. Now they might not be the quality of the backbone, um, but they are more affordable and a little bit more versatile. So I would say if you are a very specific person, if you are an iPhone user who does a lot of mobile gaming, you play Call of Duty um, on there. I play Call of Duty uh, on, on my iPhone here through the app and it works really, really well. Um, you know who you are and, and if you do a lot of mobile gaming through your phone and you own an iPhone, the backbone is probably the best thing that money can buy for you to use for your mobile gaming setup. So there you have it. That is my thoughts on the backbone controller for your iPhone. I think it's a great product if you do a lot of gaming on your iPhone. Um, it will definitely, definitely, you know, step your game up and make gaming just way more comfortable and convenient and easy on the go. It's very easy to take with you. So if this video helped you at all, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for all future Dad Hub videos. We'll see you on the next one, guys. Oh,